Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's who. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Is he a dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you gonna consider my offer now? Oh my god, you have no idea how good Cyberpunk 2077 is in VR. It is mind blowing. It is, it's sublime. And I've been a patron of Luke Ross's for a long time now and I've been trying to get this mod to work and it has not worked for the life of me. And I always suspected that it was my graphics card. So I upgraded to a 4080, an RTX 4080S. And I had the exact same results that I had with my 2070S. So, what the hell? I would either have really weird glitchy sort of um, bouncing back and forth, uh, shadowing, all kinds of issues like that, or um, I would have terrible, terrible latency and, and bad frames. Regardless of the card, regardless of the upgrade, I still had these issues until now. I have found a fix and this fix has allowed me to run this game so smoothly. And um, this, this fix has been confirmed to be working on mid to low tier graphics cards. Now, <laughs> strap in because this is mind blowing. So the first thing I try to do is go onto Vortex mods like I do with my Skyrim videos and look for some optimization mods and I couldn't really find anything there that was working. I experimented with it and it would not work. Can I just say one thing before we get into this? My god this game looks amazing in VR. Alright I said it. Anyway so uh, with that being a failure I did find one thing and it's basically an extractable and we're going to drop it into our install file and it's going to fix everything. Now the first thing we're going to do is head over to the github that link's going to be in the description and we're going to download the VR performance toolkit version 0.3 and then next we are going to go over to Luke Ross's Patreon now it does cost about nine pounds a month uh, you can just pay for it for the one month and then cancel it and then download the file that's completely up to you but then any updates that come won't work uh bear in mind it's one file and that one file works for every single game and that's luke ross's real mod luke ross you're a gangster and the next thing we're going to go over to our steam page we're going to find our game cyberpunk we're going to right click it go to properties go to installed files and browse and that's going to take us to the folder where cyberpunk is installed now in this folder we're going to click bin and we're going to click x64 or x86 whichever it is that you have and then we're just going to drag these files across don't worry about the folder above you do not need to drag that folder unless if you have an 86-bit operating system which is very unlikely as you can see i've already done it so i'm not going to do it for a second time and i'm going to assume that you've already installed luke ross's mod if you're on this video but if you haven't we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the previous file so we're going to extract it and we're going to drag it across into the folder where the executable is just like we did a second ago and you can see i've already done it so i'm not going to do it for a second time but once we have done that we do need to go into our folder and we need to look for the luke ross real config file and once we've clicked on that it will install the luke ross mod now as you can see i've also done that so i'm going to push no and we're gonna go straight into the game and that's it guys we are almost there now we are going to turn on our vr headset we are going to link to pc vr however it is you do it and then we are going to launch the game and when we launch it it's going to go straight into vr now a luke ross mod app is going to open you can close that using pause on your keyboard and you can reopen it using pause on your keyboard one thing i will recommend is setting the rendering mode in this menu to mono that for me has given me the best performance apart from that 
this optimization mod which you just installed will take care of the rest so guys i really hope that's helped it's certainly helped me i can tell you now this game in vr is mind-blowing um, i'm gonna drop the links to the github mod and also to luke ross's patreon which you're gonna need to make this work on top of that i'm gonna drop a link to my discord so jump in the discord say hello and uh, maybe you can join us in a game or two um, if this video has been helpful i'd really appreciate it if you would sub or like or just uh, make a comment um, it all helps and apart from that I also have a membership scheme, which I've just started today. It's a new thing I'm experimenting with, but uh, if you want one-to-one -one help with mods, um, I'm here to help. So see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much.